I'm Bob Schmale. I've got a business building sheds and factories. I've probably had about 30 boats in my life, from tinnies to six metre boats, then back down to smaller boats, then back up to 26 footers, you know, 40 odd footers, 35 footers, then back to plate boats again. Went for a trip to New Zealand with the missus, rang him up at White Pointer, and said, mate, can I come over with your boats? So quite welcome to you know, come over. They took me out for a test run in one of their boats that someone had brought and loved it. You know, when I was over there, we were in five metre seas and probably 25 knot winds and it just doesn't move. Didn't roll where other boats I've had you know, want to roll over and it's just so stable and handles well in the rough. The name of the boat's called Real Rush. Open boat, I didn't want to lock up like in Tasmania and New Zealand, they built a lot of lock up boats because of the cold weather. I just want an open boat so I can get from the front to the back if only two were sufficient. Designed it how I wanted it, you know, big bench seats or lounge chairs as, as they call them over there with freezers and fridges. Just two bucket seats. I designed the engine cover at the back with a, a locker and a seat and I didn't want outboards but when you're down the back of the boat like game fishing or even you know, jigging you can't reach over the motors so I've got the walk around built on the, on the back of it with rails right around so you can walk right around it. You can fish straight down off the back of the boat and the props are, you have props underneath the walk around so it's really good. Volvo 260, the most equal, economical motor I've ever had. Yeah. I think today we're doing 32 knots and uses 52 litres an hour. With a, with a Volvo Pure Prop you haven't got much tilt like an outboard motor, you can tilt them up and down, you've only got 6 degrees tilt and it just you don't even have to use the trim, you just put it on about, put on zero to take off, put it to one and that's it. They go, go good, you know, the fuel tank's 450 litres position in the middle of the boat. Uh, my mates nickname me 40 knots because it's always blowing a gale when I go out in the boat. Going into the sea, but mate, I've never been in a boat that handles like it. Just goes dead straight, doesn't deviate off its course. When I'm marlin fishing, you know, plagic fishing, if you get a good fish on, well, a lot of people in mono holes, you know, single motor people, they drive them on the side, but mate, I still like backing down on them, like the same as I do with the game boat, so, and it handles brilliant, where a lot of boats can't do that. You know, you get a bit of water coming in, but it's great, and if I'm bottom, bottom bouncing, like out on the you know, deep water, chasing harpooka and stuff, well you get a fish on and it's out the back, well you can, no matter what the weather is, you can still back down to get it, instead of having to drive around, you know, downwind of it. The boat's built heavy, that's why it weighs so much, it's six mil plate, aluminium plate, the floor and like, the sides are five, fuel hole's 450 litres, 150 of water, plus all my gear, it weighs around four tonne. A lot, a lot of the white pointer boats have got just open gunnels in the side, like storage areas. I wanted doors on it so I can lock it up, you know, so people can't see what you've got in there if you're travelling. Plus everything's out of the weather a lot when you, because the way I back down on fish, a lot of water comes in. When I brought, brought the boat, I went over to Rex and got the boat designed and then we started talking about electronics. And I told him what I wanted and he said, mate, you're mad. Yeah, a trailer boat, what do you want to lend it for? I said, well mate, I've come from a big boat. I want all the gear what I had in a big boat. So, you know, $30,000 later, I've got FLIR cameras, radar, you know, chirp sounders, you know, you know it's, it's got everything on it. The guys from Rain Marine really looked after us, so it was great. The main reason I got the FLIR camera, because I wear glasses, and because it's a full glass wrapped around windscreen, it's very hard to see overnight in the dark. Radar wasn't real confident on, which I've had before, so I had a look at the FLIR camera what they can do. A lot of money but mate you drive in the dark and it's just like daytime. You don't have to worry about looking out the windscreen, you just look at your sounder screen and it's brilliant. Trailer's custom built by White Pointer as well. They built the trailer to suit the boat. And mate, it's just unbelievable. Drive on drive on and off, not a drama. Easy as anything. Everyone I take out in the boat loves it. Yeah, but they get a bit of shock, you know, a shock of what I paid for it. But I said you only get what you pay for.